everyone from the Rhineland Vaults MWR Library and Land School. I'm Miss Claire and I'm going to read to you Apples for Little Fox by E. Katerina Truckhan. Fox loved to read. Mystery stories were his favorite. Fox wanted to become a famous detective just like the ones he read about. Good morning, Mouse. Fox also loved apples. Every morning he went to the library and on the way home, he stopped to gather apples that had fallen under the biggest apple tree. Fox read all day eating apples and imagining that one day he would solve a mystery too. Every night Fox wished that something mysterious would happen, but nothing ever did. Nothing at all. Good morning, Mouse. Early one morning, Fox set off for the library, just like he always did. But when he cycled past the apple tree, just as he always did, he noticed something had changed. All the apples were gone. A mystery for me to solve at last. Fox started his investigation. He took photographs of the crime scene. Hello, Fox. Sorry, Bear. I'm too busy to talk right now. Then Fox looked for clues. He did his detecting with a magnifying glass. He'd been waiting a long time to use it. Hello, Fox. Sorry, Wolf. Too busy to talk right now. Fox even questioned a witness. I was asleep. Hello, Fox. Sorry, Owl. I'm too busy to talk right now. Hmm. This is more difficult than I thought it would be. Maybe Rabbit can help me. He is very clever. So Fox went to visit Rabbit. He had just started to explain the mystery when he smelled something. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Something very familiar. Something. Very nice. And there was his favorite, a just baked apple pie. Happy birthday, Fox. I forgot it was my birthday, but now I know where all the apples went. In the middle of the party, Fox saw that the whole apple pie had disappeared but he didn't need to investigate that mystery. The end.